So Taylor, there's a major change happening with the 11 plus exam in Buckinghamshire. Perhaps you could tell us a bit more about it and what the changes will mean to parents and pupils. Okay, earlier this year in January 2013, it was announced that Buckinghamshire will change their 11 plus exam so that it's now going to test verbal reasoning, non-verbal reasoning and numerical reasoning, whereas previously it tested only verbal reasoning and also that the provider will change from the NFER to CEM. So these changes will make the exam appear quite different and actually I believe that the new exam will be more effective in selecting the, if you like, the children who are best suited to grammar school. I think, well I hope and I believe that it will be more effective at matching children to their educational needs um, and therefore I welcome this change and hope that the exam is as effective as Buckinghamshire clearly believes it will be because they've made this quite dramatic change. So the exam now, it will be different in that practice papers for it are not currently available and therefore um, it will be a more valid test if you like of the children's ability or reasoning ability um, than the previous test was. And um, it will also take place in September, whereas previously the Bucks exam used to take place in October. There, that will also have a little bit of an impact, the fact that the exam is very soon after the summer holidays, but I think that uh, the impact of the change in the actual test will be greater and I believe it is a change for the better again because I believe it will be more effective at selecting the children who are best suited to a grammar school. If it's more effective at selecting pupils for a grammar school what can parents do then to ensure <coughs> that that's positive for their child? Well first of all if a child is not academically able, i.e. they are not um, strong academically, then they should not consider preparing them for the 11 plus exam because there's a very good chance that their grammar school is not going to be the right place for them to be. However, if their child is academically able, then they should consider giving the best possible preparation for the new exam. And the advice that Bucks has given is sound. It actually really means, to paraphrase, pay attention at school, what schools are teaching you, the skills that schools are teaching you, um, and general, if you like, foundation work, having a good general knowledge, good basic skills, good vocabulary spelling, all of that is still essential as it always was, as was and still is, good mental arithmetic skills. But um, if you like, what the new exam is going to test in a different way to what schools test is the ability to, um, if you like, solve problems. And it's not just a matter of knowing techniques as it was with verbal reasoning. Um, it's actually problems, they may not have seen one in exactly the same format. So they've actually got to apply their knowledge and reasoning to solving a new problem. And that's absolutely fantastic if they can achieve it. If the CEM exam can provide that, it's absolutely fantastic. But the children who are able, who have a sound knowledge and good reasoning skills are going to flourish in that. And um, I think that is a very good change and it is a change for the better. But what used to happen in the past is that some children would succeed in passing the 11 plus exam because they got very good at the 21 types of verbal reasoning but their, if you like, general ability uh, wasn't on a par with their ability to do, do well in those techniques. And then when they got to grammar school, they found that they were struggling very much keeping up with the expectations there. Whereas children who flourish in this new exam, will, uh, there will be far fewer of those who will then go on to grammar school and struggle with in quite the same way. They would always be struggling, but for perhaps other reasons than academic ability. Okay, thanks. And if you'd like to find out more about the courses available or just have some questions about the 11 plus, then give Sir Taylor or one of his colleagues a call on the number provided through the Contact Us button.